What I'm going to do is, what I've done is I've taken about, oh, it's a couple hundred flashcards, probably 250 flashcards, put them in an app for you so you don't have to do it yourself. They're a great app. You're sitting there, you're wasting time, you want to quiz yourself, check yourself. This is a great way just to get all the little technical stuff down, and I'll be adding some more. And if you have some ideas on some flashcards, be feel free, please send them my way. I'll add them in. Um, but what this will allow you to do is just quickly study, quickly study, quickly study. Do you know them? If you know these cold, you're going to come into the test a lot more confident. And it's using a, an app called Study Blue. Let me show you about what it's going to look like. I think I can mirror my phone here. So uh, if I go, I'm, they're called NK Infinity and Common Core, Algebra 2 Common Core. And all you're going to do is do something like this, flip card. Let's flip cards. And we'll flip them all, we'll random, we'll put them in, what I'm, and we'll come up. So what happens is, what is the tangent of 30, 300? Now, there's a few of these. Tangent of 30 degrees, 300 degrees. Um, for those of you that learn the hand trick, 30 degrees is uh, the pinky. Sorry, it was backwards for me. And tangent is always y over x. So that would be the square root of 3 over 1. Except that it's in the third quadrant. Now I just remembered, oh, yeah, it's not. It's negative. So wait, I got that wrong. Let's click on that. Hopefully my... Uh, Apparently, that's a blank card. Got that one right. Um, it should be coming in random order. Cosine of 360 is just one. Got that one. Click that. All right, what would, you, what would a number have to be in order to have a high negative correlation? Oh, I think that's negative one. Yeah, or a number close to negative one. Boom, there it is. I got it. I know it. I don't have to go back. Now, you notice there's 257 cards. When completing the square to solve a quadratic, what do you add to both sides? Remember, we're going to take half of the middle term, half of the linear term, the x term, and square it. So half the middle, b term, squared. Oh, I knew that, so I click OK. What is an outlier? OK, an outlier is one of those numbers that's all the way on the outside, but there's a specific formula for it. Do you remember it? Oh, yeah. Oh, why do I not have? Well, the formula is the 1.5 times the IQR. So hopefully that's going to be another formula that I have in here. I might have to update that card. If you think there's a mistake in a card, let me know. All right, I didn't, let's say I don't like that one, didn't like that. Where would you find the bulk of data if the distribution has a large, large standard deviation? So if it's a large standard deviation, then the bulk of the data is going to be on the wide outsides. If it's normally distributed or fairly normally distributed, you'll have most of the data on the inside and you'll have a smaller standard deviation. So hopefully I got a picture. Yes, I even have a picture. If the bulk of the data is entails in large standard deviation, it looks like this. Yes, got it. All right, so anyway, that's the idea of the flashcards. There's lots of them on there, and they're free. They're free, totally free. I'm going to show you how to sign up right now. We're going to, I'm going to sign up using uh, uh, my email account, last name. My first name is Kendrick. Let's see if it's going to let me. Kraus, email, uh, nkinfinity2016 at gmail.com, password, uh, hopefully you can't see this, that's my password, my birth date, I'm just going to put January 1, and we'll go with 1997. Why not? What the heck? Makes me old. I have read it. Click OK. So I click OK. Now I have an account. There I am. I am a student. You'll be clicking I am a student. So we might as well click on a student. I am a student. But I think you can skip all this. You can just skip this. Uh, skip it. Let's just skip it. All right. Study Blue for free. We want it for free. Click on for free. Get Study Blue for free. Uh, no, flashcards, okay, all right, it's going to take you through some tutorial, I got it, I got it, I got it, so if you want to add cards, and I think I've tried to make this as easy as possible, if you go to NK Infinity, and you click on review, there you go, click here to get the flashcards, so I'm already logged in, now that I've logged in, I think I should be able to click there and get my flashcards, there it is, I've just signed up for those, 
So uh, once you're in here, then all you got to do is study. Uh, let's go. Click on study now. Just click on study now. We're going to do, again, flip cards. Now, instead of doing it on my phone, I'm just going to do it right here. We'll put them. I don't want to. Don't ever put them in order. Always put them random order. You can always do hardest to easiest ones you've missed. Random's pretty good. And you can just clue study. If the roots are real, rational, and unequal, rational and unequal, then the discriminant, that's that part under the radical, b squared minus 4az, the, the keyword is rational. It's positive perfect, square, positive perfect square. I got it. Nailed it. Which trig function is here? Okay, that says squiggle one. It's tangent or cotangent, but it's going up, so that's tangent. Boom. Got it. Geometric sequence, add or multiply to get to the next term. Now, the right answer is multiply, but I, let's say I said add. Oh, crap, I got to add. Boom, got it wrong. When you take the square root, what do you got to remember when you take the square root? When you introduce a square root, what do you got to remember? Plus or minus. Got it. And a function is even, describe its symmetry. Now, this is something new that we haven't talked about. If a function is even, then it is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. So it's on either side, it's y-axis. If it's odd, it's symmetric with the origin. Let's say you didn't get that one, didn't get it right. What is the formula for an arithmetic sequence? Now, yes, it's on the formula sheet. So this one maybe doesn't need to even be in there. So we'll just click on that. Uh, and let's say you're done. I'm finished studying. Click OK, and look what it says. It gave you a little heads up, what you did right, what you did wrong. It's going to ask you to upgrade to Pro. Don't do that. You don't need that. You won't need that. I can't get out of this. Uh, all right, so click on this. I wonder what happens if I click Study Now. Uh, I don't know. Now, you should be able to, if you have the app on your phone, also get these. If you're having problems with it, send me a message at, um, it doesn't matter, Krause at Gmail, nkinfinity2016 at Gmail. Send me an email, let me know you're having issues, and we'll see how we do, okay? Hopefully this works for you. Good luck. Keep studying.